All right, so most of us start our 3D scanning journeys like I did with an iPhone and way too much optimism. This right here is the next step, the big leagues. Let me introduce you to my new favorite toy, the Otter Lite, and it might just be the ultimate prototyping machine for us makers. The box looks like it could be hiding a PlayStation controller or something like that. Pop it open like a high-tech clam and boom, gorgeous dark gray carrying case. Inside the case, it's packed tighter than your luggage before Comic-Con. The scanner itself, clean, minimalist, feels expensive, well, because it is. Test model, cables, gotta have options. Lens cleaners. The light bridge to connect your computer wirelessly. Calibration board. A couple of straps, Nintendo Wii nostalgia anyone. Tracking stickers. And of course, a manual, I definitely just skimmed through. All neatly packed like it's playing Tetris on expert mode. The scanner feels great in the hand, solid, like it means business, and it's wireless too, which is a bonus for me. Ridiculous precision, like 0.05. Long range cameras, great for cars, props, or your full body. And yes, it does have full 24-bit color scanning. You don't just get data, you get the whole picture. Okay, first off, I'm gonna start scanning this test model first. This thing literally connects via Wi-Fi, and you're pretty much good to go. The scan definitely needs cleaning up, but not bad for my first few attempts. Now I'm just gonna scan a load of things that are just lying around. Let's see how we go. Hmm, maybe not this little one. This scanner's super smooth, just make sure you stay in range. Rotate it and let's do its thing. Once the scan's done, here's what the raw data looks like. I think it was a little too dark to get a clean scan on that one. I'll bump up the exposure for the next model. Yeah, that's better. I'm starting to realize that once you begin scanning with this thing, technique really matters. You've got to find the right distance, lighting and speed. Even then, you'll probably still need to clean up the model afterwards, either in the Creality Scan software or in Blender. It's part of the process, but once you get the hang of it, the results are totally worth it. All right, let's scan my camera. I'm making a custom Gridfinity mold, so it's got a perfect spot on my setup. The first few times I tried scanning the camera, it was a bit of a nightmare. It kept glitching out halfway through, super frustrating. I even tried using the sticker markers, but no luck. After digging around online, I found out the problem might be the camera itself. It's just too dark for the scanner to track properly. A few more attempts later, I finally started to get better results, mostly by slowing down and being really meticulous with my scanning technique. Here's the final scan I ended up with, but funny enough, I actually went with an earlier version. That one didn't include the camera cage, and I figured it'll be easy to work with for what I needed. Next, I headed over to makerworld.com, search Gridfinity Extended and hit Customize to dial in the size I need. Then I bring the scan and the Gridfinity base into Blender. From there I use a modifier to subtract the camera shape, basically carving out a mold that fits exactly. Once that's done, I slice it up, throw it on the Bamboo A1, print it in PLA filament, and in no time I've got this. Ah, sh**, the mold didn't fit. Classic. I know exactly what I did, I forgot to scale up the camera just a tiny bit to give it some wiggle room. Right now it's like trying to squeeze into jeans straight out of the dryer. Alright, let's try that again. And there it is, second time lucky, much better fit. No calipers, no guesswork, just scan, design, print, and that's it. So if you've already mastered 3D printing, if you get into cosplay and want to start designing stuff that actually fits your body, this is the move. The Otter Light, it's great. And no, I'm not telling you the price tag because I don't want you guys to get upset because anything over $100 makes people mad in the comments. But let's just say it's worth it if you're serious. If not, a lot of people will make do with scanning stuff with their phones.